And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. Let's take another look at that flood warning. It's still in place for the Port Niff, and we're a little, sounding a little bit like a broken record at this point, but for the last couple of weeks, we have been seeing this flood warning in place for the Port Niff. Current stage of the river has gotten even worse at 9.9, .9, and they're estimating it will get worse over the next two days as well, and you can tell that's Pocatello down to McCammon for that Port Niff River flood warning. And now, as we zoom out to the storm tracker, for the most part, when we looked at the radar, we saw a little bit of green here and there. That was mostly clouds. As for rain, for the most part, that's off to the north near Swan Valley and Jackson, and a little bit over in the Central Mountains as well. As we zoom out, we do see those Central Mountains seeing a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain, definitely solidifying as the day goes on. Now that's going to continue into the nighttime. For the, for the Snake River Plain, we only see scattered rain here and there, nothing too solid to make a definite band of rain come through. And behind this wave, we do see another dry slot. That's going to move through, and then in about 24 to 48 hours, we're going to see the next system move through. But for now, future tracker for the Snake River Plains staying relatively clear for the morning hours, relatively clear for those afternoon arrows, hours. Even the uh, Wyoming border is staying clear for those hours as well. Snake or the Central Mountains sees a little bit of moisture move through with some snow and a little bit of rain as well. But for the most part, it stays at a distance. But for tonight, like I said, scattered rain, 34, Pocatello, 32, Idaho Falls. We're getting dangerously close to that freezing, but not quite under it. Tonight for the Central Mountains, they see that scattered snow from that moisture moving through. 32 in Chalice, 35 in Salmon. And then finally for the Highlands in Western Wyoming, scattered snow as well. 38, or excuse me, 30 in Island Park, 29 in Jackson, seeing a dip below. Freezing just a little bit for tomorrow. As for the Highlands in Western Wyoming, Mostly cloudy, 51, Island Park, 54, and Jackson. It clears out for the most part, but the Central Mountains still have that little bit of scattered moisture rolling through. Scattered rain, 59 in Chalice, 62 in Salmon. And then finally for the Snake River Plain, scattered clouds, 65 in Pocatello, 62 in Idaho Falls. So we are warming up one more time before that next system moves in that brings us that solid band of rain moving through. As we take a look at that seven day, we do see we only have about 24 hours left Thursday. Seeing that 56 degrees and that chance of rain moving through, scattered rain turns into a mix on Friday. Temperatures start to dip once again. We only get below freezing in the nighttime hours, but we're still seeing a chance of that turning into a mix, wintry mix. Clears out for the weekend, though, warms up a bit, 64 on Sunday, and then that rain moves back in on Monday, Tuesday. Idaho Falls sees that rain move in a little bit earlier. So tomorrow you see a slight chance of rain, and then Thursday it's a little bit more solid of scattered rain moving through. Friday you got that mix, but if you look at that nighttime temperatures, it stays under freezing for a bit longer, so you do see a chance of snow on Saturday. Warming up for Sunday, seeing that rain move by next week. As for the Teton area, a little bit colder, so you see a little bit more solid bands of snow. If you look at those nighttime lows, 22 for three days straight there, Thursday through Saturday. Clears out a bit on Sunday, but then that mix comes back around on Monday, Tuesday for 49 and 47. So we're going back into those colder temperatures. Then finally for the Central Mountains, chance of snow tomorrow. You saw that scattered moisture moving through. Thursday, Friday, you see that mix for that first wave. Clears out for your weekend, warms up. However, it doesn't stay out for long. You see that mix come back in. Now, we talked about temperatures yesterday, but what is the average amount of moisture for Pocatello in April? 1.3 inches, 2.2, or 3.4? We'll have the answer coming up.